Well, happy Sunday morning, all. Uh, I'm going to do another little switch up on the uh, Cub today. Uh, I'm not pleased with the GV screen. I'm going to take it off. It just bothers me. I'm a little OCD, and I'll show you why it bothers me. Uh, get you up where my eyeballs are. You can see how crooked that screen is. It's pushed out about an inch or more on the right side, yet the bottom is uh, crooked down here. And that's the best I could get it uh, because this bracket is just too far out. The, the bend on this weld or the bracket itself is just off. I tried bending it in at the bottom. That didn't really help it because the length portion is too long up here and that's what's causing the offset. Uh, but no matter how I tweaked and twisted the, the mounts, I could never get this side even uh, with the left and still maintain alignment down there at the bottom. So you can really see it from up here. It's just annoying. It bothers me. It's, it's a good three quarters of an inch to an inch longer on that side. So it's going away. I'll keep it for longer trips uh, and things like that where I might really need the, uh, the wind protection, but for now it's coming off and I'm going to put my uh, little short uh, Asahi visor back on there. So this should be a very quick little endeavor here. It's just undoing it and uh, hanging onto my ram mount so they don't go tumbling onto the pavement. My only concern is if I've got enough height and thread to continue these ram mounts uh, in that other mounting situation over there. I'm not sure how that's going to play. Because the little screws that I have for the top uh, of the Asahi screen, they don't really... Uh, what the world? I'm stuck in there by something. Oh, my cables. <laughs> Maybe? Yeah. Yeah, it's the cable length. Um, So they don't really go deep enough to secure these ram mounts uh, and not worry about them loosening up over time. Hey, she fly away. So now if I can gently lay that over, not scratch anything. These spacers are going to go away. Uh, they're part of the uh, GV screen kit. Ooh. Uh, thread locker's working. Mm, super stiff. I got my T handle. Oh well. Break up that thread lock a little bit. Now yeah, it's getting better. Hey, you lost my little spacer thing. I'm about to lose my windscreen. I'm trying to keep you on camera and do this at the same time. So that's out of there. I'm just going to do this for a moment so that the mount doesn't fly away. There we go. All right. So I'm just not very pleased with this thing. So you can tell when it's off of the bike, it doesn't have any pre-bend in the screen. I mean, it's starting to get one now. I don't know if you can see it from your perspective, but it's starting to get a tweak that way because it's been on the bike like that for a couple weeks. A couple, three weeks. Uh, anyway, yeah, so apparently this stretch is just too long on that mount compared to the one on the right or possibly the angle of this bend maybe in the jig it was wrong and i did try both right side mounts from both kits that i got and it was roughly the same uh, this one was better than the other one so anyway i'll keep it for later maybe do something with it in the meanwhile i've got to figure out this situation A little more thread lock on these. A little crusty. Should probably hit those with a wire brush. I'm hungry and I want to go to breakfast. And my son is waiting on me to get this done so we can go eat breakfast. Okay then. So this is going to be the trick. Yeah, that's not going to work with uh, the way I routed my cables. I need a buffer. So I'm going to have to go this way.
and lift it up much higher, which I'm not real pleased about. Hmm. I'm going to pause and I'll come right back with my solution. Okay, so my solution is simple. Uh, I'm just reusing these uh, spacer bushings from the GV screen, so you know, the GV is proving to be useful once again. Uh, I'm just going to sandwich mount this using the longer screws, and hopefully I still end up with enough nose space over here. I think I will. I'll find out real quick like. As long as it's got enough height uh, to keep off of the the plastics and the gauge cluster, I'm golden. Uh, I'd be even more golden if I could get that silly thread started. There it goes. Whoa, oh, I almost had it. Oh! Thread, you monkey. There you go. Yeah, looks like I'm I'm clearing, okay. It's just barley. I've got a neighbor that's uh, louder than I am. Okay, so now the fun bit is uh, this is no longer going to sit where it used to, so I'm probably going to have to tweak and torque my mounts around a little bit uh, to get them in a different position because the GV screen sits out forward of this, and uh, there's more clearance, so these were almost in behind the screen, where on this they're even or almost forward of the screen. So I'll monkey my mount situation around a little bit here and figure out what I want to do. Wow, that neighbor's loud. Okay, so I can almost get it in here, but I don't want to get in the way of my switch. I think that might work. I'm just going to rotate this guy. Behave. Thank you. Okay, then. Yeah, so something like that's going to work out fine. So I'll move this guy to that position, which kind of works out anyway, because it's going to turn that direction when I torque it. Yeah, I got my thrust washer in there, so I'm good to go. Get it off of that screen a little bit if I can. Okay then. Oh, there it goes, turn it. Keep some pressure on it this way and my knee on the bike so the bike doesn't come to say hi to me. There we go. Good. All right. Bueno. So now I can just tweak this guy around my cable length. I left long on this because uh, I had intended to put a, uh, a nav bar across the top of my GV. Uh, so I wanted the, the GPS up center uh, here, but that didn't work out. Uh, it was too floppy because I wasn't securing it on both sides. So it came off. So I have a lot of extra cable here to move my mount around if I need to. And of course I can just always shove the slack down in here a bit, but I need to uh, secure it against the uh, base of the mount again. Anyway, housekeeping, no big deal. I tweaked my mirror again. Uh, okay, lather, rinse, repeat. Do the same on this side. And this one, I think I'll probably come up with a similar arrangement. Rotate this guy. This one is uh, on my naughty list. It uh, lost my phone last week. There we go. Yeah, it lost my phone. I have no idea how the phone came out of there. I'll link that video here if you haven't already seen it. Uh, but my phone departed this bike at 45 to 50 miles an hour. Never felt it fall. I have no idea how it even managed to bounce out of there because all my fingers are intact. The phone was in it. Charging cables in the bottom of it. It went walkabout, and uh, I managed to find it with the help of GPS uh, or uh, Google Maps and the GPS on the phone. It was reporting the last place that it knew me to be, and uh, it was right uh, within you know, giant margin of error. <laughs> it was telling me within 1,300 yards. Woo! That's a lot of distance to cover in the in the dark. So. All right, so that's going to be kind of the situation here. Might lean that out, rotate that like so. There we go. 
give her a good crank so it doesn't move around and now the GPS will be a little bit more inboard like that that's good I might do that with it of course I'm not using the GPS right now but this is not a quick detach cradle you know, the the GPS obviously detaches from here easily but the cradle is somewhat permanent that's okay it'll just stay on there until cannonball next year okay then so this is how I'll look on the road. So this is how tight this thing is. There's no way my phone just magically bounced out of there. I don't get that. Ugh. Still a mystery. There. So anyway, this is going to be my view going down the road. Kind of like that. Plus my, my head's up here. So that'll work. It'll work just fine. The G view is causing a little too much buffeting and uh, helmet turbulence, so I didn't care for it uh, in its configuration with the tilted mount and also the height. Uh, it was uh, most of the wind was cutting off right here by my chin, and it was causing too much noise in the camera and helmet buffeting. So I said, "No. Uh, if I put it back on there, I'm going to fix that mount and I'm going to cut it down probably two inches, uh, just so the the wind terminates a little lower than my helmet." Anyway. Here we are. Back to the uh, <coughs> cafe look, kind of, sort of. Thanks for watching.